<laughs> okay. So we're gonna put these cosmic pieces together, finally. So what have they been up to these last four or five years, especially for Sam, you know, um, I think a lot of you know that uh, life got rather difficult there since the uh, second half of 2017. Um, and it's starting to make more sense. So we accessed into uh, 16th, 17th and 18th dimensions. Um, that kind of started in the 2017 when we did those planetary um, synthesis series. Uh, it was like in for the last six months, July to December 2017. We were actually starting to access it then. Um, the Galactic Sun Laws in December 2018, which corresponds to new dimensions, um, the first to the 12th. Uh, reset of God's infinite calculus of numbers, fractal geometries, underlying infinite calculus. I mean, just everything over the last few years has been reset, uh, basically, and we'll kind of explain uh, why that was happening. So there was a redesigning of the architecture of the universe in which we exist. So, I mean, the whole cosmos um, is undergoing a, uh, a redesign, so to speak, and um, we're essentially pinpointing the origins of when the first distortion took place. So it's not just about getting us out of 3D and um, uh, deleting the false matrix, but actually God's source is pinpointing, okay, why did this happen and how did it happen? So we're going uh, way, way back, uh, essentially. So the new human mission is to evolve and ascend to correct all distortions, um, even at universal levels. So this was something um, on, and I still remember it was, it was on 11-11 of 2020, uh, when through this opening of um, Sirius C, I suddenly felt like I got zapped and I saw this, this, um, this primordial kind of uh, the first universe, we might call it. So we can imagine that this is the breath of uh, God's source and breathed out this first primordial universe. So um, it was, uh, and I saw the number like it was 950 billion years ago that um, this, uh, this began. And um, the galactic suns are actually kind of within this first expression. And I don't think they look like this, uh, what I drew. Um, and I think I'm probably gonna have to redraw them. Um, so the galactic suns are emanations from there. Um, and they have like different, different uh, connection points, let's say, uh, and how we were then able to feel the emanations but um, they're saying probably the more accurate term would be to call them the primor primordial suns. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. And I'm sure we'll be talking more about that as we go, as we go forward. And, you know, we were saying that the autists were from these uh, 12 galactic suns. They're connected to these original primordial suns, so to speak. And um, what is that exactly? Um, you know, we'll, I'm sure we'll be trying to unfold what that means over the next few months. So I think I have a little bit of an explanation today. But anyway, so that was the first, um, let's say primordial universe. And then um, this universe, um, you know, it uh, replicated itself split into two, so to speak. And then when the two uh, came together, they created a third um, universe. And um, after that, then um, uh, the two, then these two doubled and created uh, another two, and that made four. And then these four um, doubled, and then uh, you know became um, became eight. So uh, so now we have nine primordial universes within this original primordial dragon, so to speak. So now is there other creations that, have, you know, that go, has gone on outside of this? You know, I don't know. I mean, I would imagine so. I mean, you know, the, the omniverse is, is a 
vast, vast, uh, unimaginable um, uh, existence. You know, that's the only way I can say it. So, but anyway, we're focused on this because this is uh, impacts our universe and the creation of our universe. Um, and if there's more beyond that, you know, we're, we're not seeing that today. So there's nine original omni uh, uh, primordial universes. And um, what I was shown then is that two of these universes like left and they, the feeling that I got was, and it was like literally like watching a movie, you know, I'm showing this, seeing this, and this is splitting off and things. So these two universes um, left uh, to basically just kind of go create on their own. And there was no sense of a discord or battle or anything. It was just like, oh, okay, so they're going to go explore and create on their own. Um, and so then what they what they what that left was uh the seven and then this original primordial one that was like the first one here it i saw it move positions and moved here and so now we have seven so now it's seven and so they say that the remaining seven coalesced kind of collapsed or coalesced came together to become what we know uh now is the seven higher heavens um, so, and that's like the, uh, uh, oh, okay. So the two universes leave and they become, over time, they become fallen universes as they disconnected from original primordial source. So they weren't, they were no longer connected to, uh, source to replenish and refresh themselves. They were using their own kind of light within, you know, whatever that was, uh, to uh, create themselves within their, within their own universes. Um, and this is what began uh, the distortions. So uh, what I was saying is that the, the seven higher heavens is like the 19th to 25th dimensions. And um, our autists are, while they're in their body, they're uh, the, um, and it's hard to say the autist, the autistic diagnosis or quote label is kind of used loosely. I know there's people that are diagnosed with autism that aren't necessarily from or connected to the seven higher heavens. So, you know, I don't want to get into that or who's in and who's not in, you know, but, you know, the nonverbals that say or the beyond verbals are pretty much um, connected to these seven higher heavens, which is really connected to the original um, uh, primordial universes. So when those two left, then there are the, those universes that left um, uh, as they created, they created more distortions. So the all that is has ignited an intention to restore this creation cycle back to the beginning before any distortions began. And this is the nine beings from the, uh, those original nine universes before those two universes left and became distorted. So we're going back to the original point of, um, you know, all of this when numbers and uh, the mathematics of God became distorted, uh, were used in, um, uh, in, in distorted ways, basically, you know, over, over many eons of, of time here, or what we consider time. Um, but this is what, um, is happening and that's why they're here. They're representatives of those nine original universes before uh, the, the two left. So it's kind of a mind bending way to, to look at it, you know, but that's why, that's why they're here is to um, assist in correcting all the distortions that, uh, that took place. And um, there was something else I was gonna say, but um, I think I'll remember as we go. Oh, so what are distortions exactly? I think, you know, a lot of people have an idea what they are, but basically um, they're creating realms, consciousness patterns and energy harvesting sy systems that do not replenish and serve the whole um, is what, you know, has happened. So when the two primordial universes left, the origin and disconnection from the source of original creation, a system of propagating 
began, which was out of the loop of original source that would replenish and renew itself. So eventually the fallen universes could not replenish itself and invaded our universe um, and 3D belief systems, extreme polarity mechanisms and consciousness to siphon others energy and light. So the human, particularly the humans, because um, since we're an expression of God's source, then our genes and our, or our DNA um, has a lot of a lot of light. So um, obviously, this is there's a much more complex process that took place over many um, billions of years and um, mil and then millions of years to get to the place where we are today with um, extreme polarity of belief systems and uh, harvesting our energy and light could be seen as you know what we would call sat satanic and luciferian so in between those original nine universes or primordial universes and now you know there was obviously there's a there's a huge long history um, that took place and I'm not, you know, here to go, go through how and why, you know, wh how all of this happened um, and why we're in the situation that we're in, in a fallen 3D matrix. Um, you know, a lot of other people have different perspectives and stories, I think about that and what exactly happened, but uh, this is sort of really going back to the, um, the, the original, original um, and, and uh, God's source or the the all that is uh, attempting, well, not attempting, on a mission to now correct uh, the original, the, from the point of where original distortions began. And the human template as avatar humans, that is our sort of a mission. So we're sort of on a new um, mission now. So humanity is on a mission to clear all distortions um, so first we have to get out of 3D consciousness and all its fallen and parasitic systems. So again, parasitic systems is, is um, what uh, takes energy from another person, another being, the consciousness of, of enslavement all comes from this extreme distorted consciousness that um, degraded over many, many eons of time. So. Uh, God source and the cosmos supports us to do this, and this is what has been happening over the last uh, four to five years. And you know what I've come to see now is this is what Sammy was doing. She was kind of leaving her body or um, her the main consciousness aspect or the locus of consciousness of her soul was going way way out to that original point and. Um, and, and also other authors, I just don't know all of them, uh, you know, and, and what exactly they're all doing, but, you know, as a collective and certain, certain ones of them embodied here or on the planet have been doing, um, you know, sort of deeper work and making these connections at various levels of, in the field of the all that is to um, connect the human from here to all of these different access points and portals. So, um, you know, as many of you know, it takes a human to make it real in our reality to somebody has to be here to um, receive it and to connect us to that. So that's what's been going on. And a lot of these uh, autists have been um, having challenges because of the, the work that they're doing or they've been doing. So. So a lot of steps have been laid to support this monumental change. Um, we're seeing lots of things happening. So that in a, in a sense, this is like a new alpha and omega cycle. So what the kids, the autists had explained to me a couple of years ago was that, so they see like an alpha and omega cycle as like a cycle of creation. So God source sets an intention and, you know, sends out, let's say souls to accomplish um, a certain mission and so this is this is like the alpha and omega cycle that we're in now is to um collect up and clean up all the distortions that have, that has ever been created and how long does it, this is going to take i don't know 
But um, we do know that the first step is to get the human out of this 3D fallen matrix and um, onto a stable platform of 5D because that's where uh, polarity is, is really ba balanced and neutralized. So uh, redesigning the dimensionalized system. Um, so that was part of the work that we did. Uh, the galactic suns are primordial suns uh, as the first, from this perspective now, um, consciousness units of expressions or, or souls. So they're, they're emanating their consciousness you know, through these autists. And um, what we did in 2018 um, was uh, begin a design of a new 12-dimensional uh, system that the avatar human kind of exists in. So they were expressing from a station of the multi multiverse like anchor points to be able to show their emanations quote here. So um, those are the kind of what, what we would call the galactic suns then. So the, they are the original creators of our dimensionalized system so that God source could have a new and unique expression in the cosmos uh, in the way of being a, um, in the way of being a um, avatar human. So this is important. The galactic sun laws and meditations were to establish the new dimensionalized system. So I thought, well, what in the world happened with all of that? Um, you know, I haven't been thought about, I haven't thought about Galactic Suns, you know, since, since then. And I was like, what are we supposed to do with that? But now they're coming online. So the new dimensionalized system is uh, activating and we are actually literally moving into it. So I'll talk a little bit more about that. So this is uh, pretty, pretty exciting. So why is people feeling kind of out of sorts is part, this is one of the reasons we're literally being moved and we're stepping into those new, um, the, the new dimensions and the galactic sun laws that were embedded into, into that. So if you uh, didn't do the galactic suns with us in 2018, or if you haven't listened to it, this is just a brief rundown. So each of these galactic suns, they represent, um, or um, primordial sun uh, emanation represents a, uh, a dimension. So uh, the law of structure is now in the first dimension. And what they did was they embedded these laws into the dimensions because literally our reality and our form is created out of the various subharmonic frequencies in each dimension. So um, they embedded these laws so that as we manifest, it's literally embedded right into our physical beingness. The laws are embedded right into our physical nature. So, so dimension one is the law of structure. Second dimension would be the law of omniscient omnipresence, and this is changes the sacral and our uh, our and our connection to the uh, multidimensional field. Three third dimension is the law of form. Fourth dimension, the law of the trinitized form. Fifth dimension, the law of co-creative abundance. The sixth dimension, the law of sacred union. The seventh dimension, the law of cosmic vision. Eighth dimension, the law of consensus. Ninth dimension, the law of abundant realities. The 10th dimension, the law of unified fields. The 11th dimension, the law of sacred nature. And the 12th dimension, the law of the cosmic Christ consciousness made, um, made manifest. So those are the essential laws uh, within the 12 dimensions. And obviously we access more than that, but the human form or the form that we have comes out of those, uh, the frequencies within those 12 dimensions. So that was one piece, you know, of laying a foundation so that, um, you know, we can continue to evolve and ascend. Um, and then, um, there was a series of resets and new codes, you know, and these are just some examples. Um, new portal openings and access points back to the origin. Like I said, so Sammy and the other autists, you know, they were 
kind of leaving their bodies and um, uh, going way, way out into the cosmos to um, uh, open, open those portals and access points, so to speak. Connecting macro and micro worlds beyond the 15 dimensions. So this would be like even at quantum levels. Um, so there's new dragons to bring in new codes and templates. We're connecting into the seven micro universes of micro consciousness units, which is um, connected to the quantum field. Uh, replenishing the quantum realm and quantum bits, you know, through these uh, new connections. New time vector codes were coming in, you know, ready to be not really activated yet, but, um, you know, they're here. Uh, we have tools, other tools from zero point to help us release different aspects of your energy fields. Um, and I'll be probably talking more about that and presenting those at various times. Uh, new and different access to dark matter, right? The 16th, 17th, and 18th dimensions. Um, the new dark matter emerald sun and the father's sapphire sun recently came in and I'll be showing you a couple of images of that. And if you saw our latest blog, uh, that, you know, there was an image of the dark matter emerald sun in there already. So the Polarian and the alignment of Gaia, Tara, and Terra, and um, the hyper, the hyper um, Boreans, the uh, sort of the original, original template. And um, if you read that blog, recent blog, then it talked a little bit more about that, but we'll be using that image a bit more. Um, and depending on time, we'll see how much we can uh, get into explaining more of this. So, um, oh, I didn't finish the sentence. Reset the energy and language of numbers, uh, the infinite calculus uh, uh, from God's source, the mathematic codes, the fractal patterning, the fractal mathematics, you know, um, has changed. So one of the things, yeah, is if you remember this blog from a few months ago, that uh, we can imagine that this is, uh, this side is the, what we might call the Mandelbrot fractal uh, equation uh, that we were existing on and where, let's say that the negative or dark forces, uh, distorted consciousness forces, let's say, um, we're using the Mandelbrot fractal to even repeat uh, cycles, um, you know, where we um, war amongst each other and then we annihilate one another and then they start over again. So it's been a, by using this uh, fractal pattern, this Mandelbrot brought fact, fractal mathematics, then they were able to kind of repeat history. So we're kind of seeing that playing out now, even where they're trying to get humanity to play out um, a pattern, an old pattern, an old script that uh, we've already, you know, had been through. So uh, this new fractal pattern is now emerging, I would say we're like at this point right now at the bottom here. And this new mathematic, uh, fractal mathematics is in alignment with the new 12 galactic sun, uh, let's say dimensions. So this is how everything is being reset, rebooted. Um, and the difficult part is that we're doing it while we're still, you know, in human bodies and we're trying to make the adaptations. But as, um, as we go forward now from 2020 is really the beginning of the manifestation, right? The 2020, uh, 22 is a number of manifesting. So uh, we are really beginning to manifest on this platform now and um, with those 12 galactic sun laws uh, activating. And as, as um, we continue on, then this is gonna start to, to fade out and people who are trying to still create from this um, are gonna be, are in for some surprises. So how that's gonna play out, I don't know, but um, you know, this is, it, this is gonna be an interesting year going forward. Uh, the other thing that happened is this, uh, triune arc 
So it used to be where we were accessing the 15th dimension, the father arc through just the father arc. It was like one arc here. And then um, there was a mother arc that was here. So this arc is new. Um, as you can see, this 2D or sacral connection is important because um, it changes uh, our how we connect to our soul and how we connect to the multiverse. Uh, and this was updated too, because last time I showed this, this wasn't um, this wasn't there, but Sammy had me put this in now. There are these diamond connections um, to all of this. So this would be like access to Holy Mother. This is access to Holy Father. And we are making a new connection to uh, 16, 17, and 18th dimension. So this is an emanation from the seven higher heavens, right? Um, that was created by them to spin out these uh, emanations to, to really, I guess, build all of, all of this is what, uh, you know, I get. So, you know, it's kind of mind-bending complex stuff and it probably would take a while to um, really digest the magnitude of, of this. And obviously, you know, I'm just showing snapshots of, of things happening. It's, it's hard to even draw um, an omniverse or a multiverse of how this all connects. So this is um, Mother's Dark Matter Emerald Sun. And this was a new one um, on Saturday that Sammy was bringing through and literally what I was seeing was this like uh, sapphire sun right underneath um, my perineum and I felt like I was it was like pushing me up pushing us pushing us upward and uh, so I asked Sammy you know are, are we moving and she said yeah we're, we're moving we're moving into um, position uh, to position of the new of that new dimensionalized system uh, with the 12 galactic sun laws so it was built kind of above and maybe a little to the left the way i the way i am feeling it and so now we're being moved into into um position to uh align to it and so people are feeling kind of dizzy and wobbly you know we are literally moving and when, when it's going to snap into you know position i'm not I'm not really sure, but um, you know, it's happening and things are happening fast. And the outer narrative is happening fast, you know, I think because everything is moving faster, uh, happening faster. But in some ways, you know, I think it'll be good because we'll, it means we don't have to wait 20 years to get through some of this. So uh, Gaia, Terra, Tara, Terra, and the Polarian. Um, and really, I should mention the Hypo. Hyperboreans, right? So that is an alignment with the new dimension that you know exists in those now uh, 12, 12 new dimensions. It includes the new human template, which is the upgraded uh, upgraded genes, um, and it, it almost makes sense, you know, that if we're having to upgrade our genes and you know, change our template that, you know, we need to be in a different kind of multiverse, you know, and, and that 12 galactic suns is kind of representing um, uh, a different kind of multiverse. So uh, polarity will be balanced, which means that even down to the subatomic levels, there is balance and neutrality. Uh, like I said, that electric is particularly with that electric, the electron and proton attraction, you know, will become uh, less electric, so to speak. And, um, you know, like I've said before, I think that's, is, that's what will help with our autists who have seizures, you know, it's that excess electric activity and um, for Sam, who's kind of a bit more magnetic, um, it will help her then eventually, um, I think, begin to, she's saying, rebirth herself and be able to move more, more smoothly through this, uh, through this world. So, you know, this is, uh, this is big stuff. And, you know, it's, it's exciting. 
um, there's a part of me that goes, well, <laughs> wait till I see it. <laughs> um, you know, I feel like we've been waiting a lot of time. Uh, so the activation of Ophicus and the 13 zodiac signs also su supports this. And uh, yeah, this is also going to support our evolution to become less dense and lighter. Um, if you read the blog and the uh, energetic synthesis or the Asc Ascension Glossary definition of the hyperbarians, hyperbarians, they were, you know, much, much bigger, much taller. They were lighter. The bones were not uh, this dense. You know, that was for, was for a denser human. Um, and we're, we're evolving back to that uh, hyperborean uh, state. So as we integrate and uh, synthesize and resolve the distortions as we do so, then um, we will eventually step into that, uh, that uh, Polarian and Hyperborean template for a lighter human, a much bigger and taller human. So that's, um, that's kind of the, seems to be the goal. Uh, so again, it was, as we ascend and integrate, we resolve, dissolve, uncreate, dissipate all distortions that have been created. And obviously we can go even beyond that seventh dimensional human, um, human, human template. But, you know, for now we'll focus on just even getting to 5D right now.